Dating like a man, she says, while you're a woman, leaves you vulnerable to scrutiny because of the unfair double standards involved. Since women are stereotyped as those who want that ultimate relationship, even the most emotionally unavailable of these men seem to be disturbed by the fact that I was exploring my options. I was slut-shamed in countless ways and judged for doing something men had been doing for most of their lives. Oh, really? Dating around without having sex with, with, with people they're dating? Hmm, that's interesting. Caught herself again there, didn't she? Can you imagine my disbelief when I discovered that even the men who professed they didn't want a serious relationship found it unnerving that I was dating other men? Even though I wasn't sleeping with them. <laughs> even though I wasn't sleeping with them? Seriously? Jesus Christ. We get this girl is such a liar. We know she slept with them. How many times has she told us she slept she hasn't slept with these guys? Like 19. It was a baffling double standard, she says, even though they had been the ones to say they weren't looking for anything serious, they seemed taken aback when I replied, neither am I, which eventually led to a few cringeworthy discussions about the number of guys I was seeing. I came to recognize that being a woman meant that I was a cast, I was cast as either the Madonna or the whore if I didn't fit into any of their cookie cutter expectations of me. It's funny that women always act like they're just so scandalized that men expect women to be women. They act like it's some huge shock that men of value expect them to act like actual women. But here's the thing. 99% of slut shaming doesn't come from men. It comes from women. Dudes don't shame women for being banana gobblers anymore because if we do, we're fired from jobs. We're called names. We're labeled misogynist and so on and so forth. Men are scared to death to even insinuate that a woman is promiscuous and that it is a bad thing. In fact, it is the men who defend them. Take a look at this clip from The Bachelorette Tell All. Listen to, watch how these men uh, just attack Luke P for, what he, for, for the crime that he committed against Hannah B. Take a listen. Luke, there are two types of men. There's a, there are men that want an independent, strong woman, and there are men that want a woman that they can control. I feel right now that you are the, the man that wants to control a woman. By the way, if this guy were in front of me, I would have just absolutely decked him. Like, like, seriously, this is what pisses me off about guys like this. This guy is so bold and brash. Luke could just crush this guy. But this guy is switching his head. And you're not a real man. The only reason why he's talking like this is because he knows that there are no physical repercussions. And so that you can feel better about yourself. And, that, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's not, that's not a man. That's not a man, huh? Neither is a man who confronts another man in a crowd, right? Listen, anybody can confront anybody with a crowd of people in front of somebody else. But real men confront men face to face when there's nobody else around. Get the hell out of here with that. That's not a man. And what blows my mind is you're saying that you you're you know you're on a rescue mission, but it seems that the only person that needed rescuing was Hannah from you. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, good freaking god! Give me a break with that. Men don't shame women for sleeping around out loud anymore, guys. If they do, like Luke P did. They're attacked from every angle, from, ev from every one, including, by the way, by the women who shame them along with the men. All those girls who applauded in the audience, I promise you, I promise you, they said to themselves, man, Hannah's a cucumber connoisseur. It's not a good look. The point is, guys, is that Katarina wasn't shamed by these men, and that's all there is to it. They didn't shame her, just like Hannah wasn't shamed by Luke. These men merely express to her what every man thinks, which is disgust when they find out she's been sleeping around. Then she gets all hyperbolic with, can you imagine my disbelief? Sweetie, you know men and women are, women are different, and you know they know that men and women are different. Men who sleep around are not the same as women who sleep around, and she knows it. Acting like she doesn't mean, acting like she doesn't mean or doesn't uh, 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 doesn't understand that people won't hold her accountable for sleeping around, including the men she sleeps with. Men do not respect women who get passed around. Men do not respect women with no sexual temperance or discipline. This baffling double standard, Miss Lolita. This is Mother Nature. This isn't a social construct. This is biology. 
Calling their expectations cookie cutter doesn't make their expectations any less valid. And these expectations are, are they're rigid for a reason. Get my new ebook absolutely free. Just subscribe to my newsletter at donovansharp.com slash newsletter. The link is in the description. And that reason is that it is in everyone's hard drive. This is why women want men who are experienced and men want women who are inexperienced. The only reason men end up marrying banana gobblers is because there are, there are, there are far more high-value men than there are virginal women. Quality men don't want to commit to women who sleep around, and that's all there is to it. And acting shocked that they wanted nothing to do with you outside of sex when they found out that you were sharing your body with other men is disingenuous and transparent. Again, quit with the Amish girl routine. Stop acting like you're innocent little Mia Miller. We all know that you're probably closer to Mia Khalifa. She continues, even though I was being transparent and honest... <laughs> The very act of seeing multiple people created as much chaos as it did excitement. Although I didn't need to share what I was doing because I felt empathy for the men I was dating, I wanted to be honest with them if they did ask or if the conversation turned to the topic. Unfortunately, she says, that honesty backfired. A few of them went on complete ego trips when they discovered I was going on dates with other people. One of them even claimed, I'll bet I am the most attractive and smartest one out of all of them, defensively. I'll get out of here with that. Oh. So you mean to tell me that a CEO said to you, I'm the most attractive and smartest out of all of them. A bodybuilder said this. Guys, this is why we know she's being dishonest. High value men don't have to tell a woman what his attributes are. He just lives his life and those attributes are evident. This is how this works. Look, these guys don't explicate, they demonstrate. Just like Rolo Tomasi says, they don't seek validation or get verbally defensive. Defensive. So, Miss Alita is either lying about what these guys are acting like or acting like or saying, or she's lying about the kind of men she was sleeping with. Because this doesn't add up, guys, and I'm going with option A. I'm going with option A. Listen, the CEO is probably a dude who started a car detailing business three days ago and calls himself CEO because it makes girls think he has a lot of money, right? The bodybuilder, probably a gym bro who deals steroids illegally. The software engineer, probably a dude who creates homemade video games on his computer between 18-hour sessions in his mom's basement calling, playing Call of Duty tournaments. This woman is making it so obvious that she's being dishonest that her stories aren't coming close to adding up. Men and women who know how things really work, they know that men with options don't get all huffy when they find out that one of the girls in their harems has other dudes they're sleeping with. They know this. Dude, this is what happened in Vegas. I tell guys this all the time. Every girl you have in, on your roster, I promise you she has five times as many girls. If you have girls on your roster, you're not supposed to care. This is all there is to it. What happens when he finds out she sleeps with other guys, they simply keep her in the rotation and ne never elevate her past a friends with benefits. Not bellyache about other guys she's sleeping with. She continues, it reminded me of how often men, how often women... It reminded me of how women are often pulled into competing for a man, and yet many men can't handle it when they are the ones perceived to be competing for a woman. Yes, Miss Lolita, because that's what makes the sexual market work. You see, when men compete for a woman, women don't know how to act. Women get promiscuous. They get neurotic. They get selfish. They get overconfident. And because she has options, she doesn't feel the need to improve herself. This is why two out of three females are overweight, but most women sleep around. If they got sexual attention from multiple men, regardless of value, women don't do anything to improve themselves. But when you flip the genders, that's when women shine. When women compete for men, women stay in shape. Women stay pleasant. Women become feminine. They have every reason in the world to improve themselves because the man they're competing for has options and they want the man to select her well if a man has options he'll get fat and lazy too if a man has women competing for him they don't feel the need to improve himself either uh sweetheart women don't compete for fat and lazy guys doll they don't compete for men who aren't always looking to improve themselves so if there are women watching who think that men will become as horrible as they do when they have women competing for that for him think again because men like this are not the kind of men that women compete for. 
Women don't want men who lose their edge, guys. They don't want men who rest on their laurels and put it in, in, in cruise control. Men and women are different, ladies, no matter how much you want us to be. You take any situation in the dating market and you will find that you cannot apply the same standard to men as you do with women. That's it. Bottom line.